In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and set up and install LibreOffice tw version 24. Uh, the previous version was LibreOffice 7 and they've jumped their new numbering system to reflect the year. So I'm going to be doing quite a few new uh, LibreOffice, especially LibreOffice base tutorials going forward. So I thought, why not get the latest uh, LibreOffice version. So come along with me now and we will install LibreOffice Base in this instance on Windows 10 but the installation should be the same if you're on Windows 11 etc. And uh, I, you will see the website if it's Mac or whatever you're using but let's just do it on Windows 10 right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click I'm going to type download LibreOffice into Google and I'm going to choose the Windows option. In fact, I'm going to choose the Windows 64-bit option because most of you will be on 64 bits, which is uh, what's known as higher bandwidth. So that's what you're going to want. So we're on the LibreOffice download page here, and it's actually suggesting 64-bit, which is good. Just clicking the drop-down button, you can see you have other options as well, but we'll go with 64-bit and clicking download. So the download has just started. Uh, we'll let it do its thing, which shouldn't be too long. And we're almost there. So here we go. Let's see if it's ready. It'll be ready in a second. There we go. Let's have a look at the folder. LibreOffice 24.2.5. So the latest version is 24.2.5. Let's double click on it now and install it. Click next. I'm just going to go with typical. Click next. Create a shortcut on the desktop. Sure. Um, I don't want to load it during system startup. So we'll just go with that. Click install and it's going to do its thing. Um, do I want to allow this app to make changes? Yes, I do. Install is validating. So, I mean, it, even if you're a VBA person, etc., it's probably worthwhile, at least on your home computer, having LibreOffice as well, because I've actually discovered some stuff which enables you to get VBA to communicate with LibreOffice databases, which it will be coming up. And that's quite interesting, especially it, it's really more applicable if you're a VBA programmer rather than it's not going to connect directly to VBA, but you can programmatically access a, a LibreOffice based database. Here's a hint using Python and VBA together. That video is coming up soon, which is why I wanted to get this uh, video out as well and I'd like to do it with the latest version also. So installation is successful so let's click finish and what I'm going to do now is just type LibreOffice into the start bar. For some reason the latest version of LibreOffice at the moment doesn't seem to be given me anyway a nice uh, logo in the uh, start bar. It's just a blank logo but we'll take what we can get. So here we go. And it's installed and you can check by doing file. Is it help about LibreOffice? And we can see we have document foundation and version information is 24.5.2.4. So we know we have got the latest version. Now, something else you want to do, especially if you're going to be using LibreOffice Base, you need to make sure that you've got your Java environment set up correctly. So I'm going to go to Tools, Options, and I'm going to click on Advanced. And my Java version here is out of date. So what I want to do is I want to get the Java development kit. And we need to get this Java development kit from Oracle. Now, if you're not going to be using Base, you don't need to do this. But, uh, you know, if you're just using the spreadsheet, calc or Word, but the base database, the database part of LibreOffice, for some of the stuff you want to do, it's going to need Java. So let's get to that now. 
So what I'm going to do now in a new tab is I'm just going to type oracle.com Java. On the Oracle website over to the right you've got a download Java button so I'm going to click that and I'm going to scroll down and what I want is the latest JDK that's the Java development kit. So we go down along there I'm going to click on Windows which do I want? I'm going to go with the x64 installer. So I'm going to double click on that, or single click in this instance, and it's downloading. So let's see where we're at. JDK. So I'm going to click on the folder option. There is the JDK. I'm going to double click on it. And I'm going to tell Windows I will allow it to uh, make changes to this device. So we're on the installation wizard for the Java Development Kit version 22, which is the latest version. And it's going to install it in C program files, Java JDK 22. We're going to need to know that. In fact, can I copy it? No. Program files, Java JDK 22. Click Next. And it's installing. So in your own time, you can click next steps and it says you get tutorials, etc., etc. So I'm going to go to tools. I'm going to go to options. I'm going to look down and click on advanced. And now we can see that the Oracle Corporation version 22.0.2, .2, the latest version of the Java development kit, kit is available. Previously, I just had this outdated version. So I'm going to click here to say, that's the one I want. I'm going to click apply and now LibreOffice knows that it has access to the latest Java development kit. And there you go. You now have a working installation of LibreOffice version 24.